Hello again, friends. It's me, Carolee, and we are trying out another new game. Well, new to Nintendo Switch anyway. This one dropped into the eShop on Friday at the price of $2.99 US. So for $3, uh, the game looks beautiful. So I thought we would check it out today, see what it's about. It's my understanding that there is no tutorial, there are no instructions, you just kind of go in and figure it out. Uh, we're playing as a druid who is preparing the forest for the long sleep of winter. So we're gonna just jump right in and see what's happening. There's some numbers in the top right of the screen, three and a zero, Oops, a little purple swirl of some kind and a leaf. <laughs> I have no idea what that means yet. Uh, let's try it out. We've got some really pretty pictures here that look like they were drawn with colored pencils, um, which I really loved and drew me to trying out this game in the first place. So let's uh, let's go ahead and press A here. See what happens. Looks like we moved a leaf over. Let's see. We can't move the arrow at all. There is an arrow in the center. Let's just press this plus. Okay, that just does the sounds. Which I turned the game sound up just a little bit so you can be sure to hear this nice music. It might be a little bit loud. I'm going to turn it back down just a little. But it is some very nice music. Alright, we're switching. Looks like we got the same one back again. Um, let's see here. Okay, something happened. <laughs> When I press the X button, this is this is a figure it out for yourself game. So that's what we're doing right now. We're figuring it out. I'm okay. If I press X now, nothing is happening. I'm pressing A. We're switching. We have three leaves now. Okay. So this card is showing. Let's see. There's no arrow. There's no way to move anything. There's an owl in the tree. Okay. Now we have two cards. Now we can switch between them. Okay. So it looks like we've got a tree here and we've got a mushroom. The owl is up in the left hand corner. So I'm not sure if we're trying to find a home for this owl or something else. So we're going to try the tree. And at the top of the card, we have one little purple swirl and one leaf. So I don't know if it requires those to use it or if it's going to give us those if we use it. Okay, I don't know what just happened. We have three purple swirls now. Let's press A. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's happening here. It's switching one for the other. There's gotta be a way to, to change these cards or something. A is the only button that I see that we can press, but we've got five leaves now and one swirl. This is going to change, and we're back to trees and a mushroom. So I, I don't, I don't really understand what we're doing. <laughs> um, let's try this one again. Okay, so now we're, um, we can trade five leaves for one swirl. Or we can keep what we have. We've got a pretty night nice sky to look at while we decide. I don't know what the owl's doing over there. We can't go and choose it or anything. I guess let's try trading this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so is this like how far we can get each time? So we're pressing A. It takes the leaf. It gave us the leaf. Okay, so maybe the left one is what it costs and the right one is what we get. Okay, so now we have a choice. They both cost the same though, so I don't understand. We're gonna go deeper into the forest. We've got a little farther here. Seems like all of them cost one purple. And then we get the leaves. And then we're back here where it's going to make us do a trade again. 
at the campfire. We don't have six leaves to trade. Okay, but every time we come back here, it looks like it gives us some. So we have four again? Oh my gosh, this is confusing. <laughs> so is this determining how far we get into the forest? Let's see if we're reading this right. It costs a purple and gives us a leaf. So it should go from four, five to three, six, if we press this. Okay, it did. And this does again. So we're going into the forest. Now we have a choice, but the choice costs the same. Okay, but if we choose this one, there's another icon in the middle there with like some branches and a one there. And there's nothing on this one. So let's try this one just to see what happens. Mm, nothing happens. I wonder if we need the branches in order to be able to use that one. All right, let's try this. Back to the campfire we go. Okay, we're, we're, we're learning. We're learning slowly. Um, let's go ahead and trade six of the leaves because we seem to get those every time. Okay, so we're walking into the forest. We've got the mushroom. We've got the tree. And that's like our only choice at this point. This is where we get a choice. Okay, so that one has the branches at the top again, but let's choose this one. We'll go further into the forest, I guess, is what that means. We're gonna get another leaf. And that leaves us with one choice again. And this then is going to take us back to the campsite, I'm guessing. Okay. I don't know what determines um, how many little purples we get at the campsite every time. I don't know if we ever get a choice of more than two cards. Oh, yes we do. Here we go. We get three this time. Three choices. So, does the card right behind it show what... I guess that's just going to be our next three choices. It's kind of nice that it lets us see what the choices are, but I still don't exactly understand what we're doing. <laughs> Besides just, um, I guess I should pay more attention to like what we're choosing and where it's taking us. So let's choose this tree again. Okay, and that took us back to only the mushroom. So maybe we should have chosen the mushroom. We're going deeper into the forest. Okay. This guy has the antlers. So if we press A on him, okay, we now have one antlers. So does that mean we can go into the part of the forest where we need the antlers? Okay, so maybe that's what the owl is too then. We're looking for a card with an owl on it so we can go. We don't have any purples left to trade, unfortunately. So this is probably gonna take us back to the campsite. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, so we have a couple options now for what we can trade. We can get another antler, or we can get more one more purple. I say let's grab another antler. Because um, I don't know how... Okay, so let's see how far we get this time. <laughs> This is taking a while to figure out, but I think I think we're doing okay. All right, so here, we need an antler to go into this part, and we didn't get to do that yet because we didn't have enough purples to pay for the card last time. So this time we do. We can go to this one. This one requires a compass, looks like. Okay, so we don't have a compass. We can just go further into the forest, but I would like to see where this antler takes us. I wonder if there's a way to get more purples as you go. Because it seems that every card costs a purple every time, no matter what. Alright, let's go in and see here. It gave us more leaves and kind of took us back to a place we've already seen. Alright, um, and, then, and then we get this one, which we haven't clicked on yet. 
Let's see where that takes us. Okay, now that takes us to a well, which doesn't have any special requirements, but it costs three leaves and we get three purples. Okay, now we're talking, now we're getting somewhere. So the one on the little icon at the top of the card on the left is what it costs to use the card. And the icon on the right is what we get in return. So we're going to try this well because we're out of purples and this might keep us going a little bit longer this time. Okay, it's taking us back to this little mushroom which is going to cost us a purple. And this one's going to cost us a purple. We're back to the tree and this is our last card. We still have two antlers somehow. Okay, both of these cost a purple to use, which means this is going to take us back to the campsite, so we're not going to we're not going to use the one with the antlers on it cuz we don't want to use up our antlers. All right, back to the campsite. We get five more purples. Uh, let's trade Let's trade for an extra purple this time. All right, and see how far we get. This looks like a little mushroom forest fairy ring or something. Guys, the drawings are just beautiful on these and the music is really nice. As long as we can like figure out what we're doing. <laughs> um, you know, I kind of like games where you have to puzzle it out yourself. All right, so we're going into the mushroom forest and now we have three choices. The compass, this one requires two antlers and this one requires one antler. Well, we've pressed that one before. We don't have a compass. So let's try the one that uses two antlers and see where it gets us. Okay, so I guess, I guess we keep the antlers on the left because um, that required two but it didn't take them away from us so I guess whatever antlers or things over there you get to keep however many you've piled up so this is kind of kind of gonna be just a matter of balancing out our little purples and greens over there so we can keep going a little bit longer but let's see how far we get now we're, we're only gonna be able to go the two cards unless there's a card that costs leaves and there is we can go to the well again so kind of balance that out there there's still no way i mean some of these there's that's your choice you get the one card so i don't i don't know if there's something particular that determines what the next card choice will be or if it's just like a random deck that you get and you have to hope that you get one that lets you <laughs> Uh, move your stuff back around. Okay, we're gonna choose that well again so we can get a few more purples and keep moving. I don't really understand how this is uh, preparing the forest for the winter or what you have to do to win, but we're still figuring this out. So I just noticed that some of the cards, like the one in front here has a blue glow around it, the one behind it has yellow, and the one behind that seems to have white. So I don't know if that means something we'll have to pay attention. So this one requires antlers and it has a blue glow. We'll go there and we get leaves. Okay, this is something new and we get a compass for this one. It doesn't have anything in the top left corner so it might not cost us anything to use this but we'll have a compass. So we've got a little bird and this one has the yellow glow around it so I wonder if the yellow glow means it's something new that we don't have. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging with me on this. We're figuring this out together. Okay, so this one requires a lantern and we don't have a lantern yet. This one needs a purple. We have one purple left. Okay, so this one costs five leaves and gives us something we don't know. That's fun, but we have plenty of leaves. So we'll choose this one this time. Let's see if we can get a little bit farther. We've got a little s statue of some kind there with some fruit. All right, so that gives us an extra purple. Now here we are walking across a log, across a river. This one costs two purple, so that's gonna be our last two purple. We're gonna, we're gonna be back to the campfire, I think. Yep, here we go. Oh, we've got something across the bottom now. I 
didn't notice that before. Let's go ahead and trade the nine because we get plenty of leaves. Okay, we're starting here. So now we have across the bottom this little like tent kind of thing and there's a little bunny. So are we trying to get the bunny to the other side? Is that his little home? Let's see if he starts moving as we start moving. Okay, so blue cards I think are the ones we've seen before. And these are costing us one no matter what. Okay, it does look like the little bunny is moving across there. We can choose this one now because we have a compass. All the cards that I can see are blue except the one in the back left corner has red. This one's red, but we don't have a lantern yet, so I don't think it's going to let us... If we click on that one, I think it just takes us back to the campfire. So let's try this one with the compass on it. And that little bunny's still moving. Okay, we haven't seen this card yet. It costs one purple. We get two leaves from it. Nice fall trees. Very pretty. Okay, we're back to this one that costs two. I wonder if that little bunny is going to start over every time. He hasn't been there the whole time, has he? I don't remember seeing that before. Okay, we've got something new here. So this one costs an antler and gives us four purples. I'm, I'm just calling them the colors, guys. I don't know what that's, but it's a little swirl of some kind. We're calling it purples. <laughs> All right, so we us get some kind of little cat sitting on a rock. So we're going to click on that one to get some more purple so we can keep moving. we got to get this little bunny home. <laughs> Let's see what our choice is. Okay, so we get one card again. I don't know what determines whether we get one card or two. Alright, if we don't get another one that costs leaves or something, this is going to be our last one here. So this is going to take us back to the campfire. But I think this is a new card. I don't remember seeing this one before. We're kind of down a path over some hills. It does require... Oh! Our antlers are down to one over there. So we did use one up somehow. I didn't notice when that happened. But this card requires three antlers to move on. So this is going to take us back to the campfire again. And what do we want to do? We don't have 12 to trade for an antler, so I guess we'll go ahead and trade for an extra purple. We're all out of leaves, but okay, so our little bunny started over again. Oh, you know what? I don't think that's a bunny. I think that's our little druid making his way through the forest. So I don't know if we get to one of the X's, if that's like a waypoint, and maybe if we make it to there, then we stay that far. I wasn't paying attention to how far we got last time. All right, let's try this. <laughs> let's try this. Even if it's confusing us, this, um, it's definitely pretty to look at and nice to listen to. So we're, we're just figuring out as we go. All right, we have another choice here. Um, that one costs five leaves, which we don't have at the moment. And I guess because there's that question mark there in the upper right corner, maybe there's more than one uh, thing that you can get as a result of using that one. But we can't use that one at the moment. We can't use this one at the moment. So let's try this one. And actually, maybe we should choose one that we can't use. Okay, we do have enough to do this one now, but like if we chose this one, I think it automatically takes us back to the campfire and that might be a good way to kind of like build up our purples or something. We'll try that at some point, but right now I'm going to keep going. We're going to turn in the five leaves and see what we get. Oh, we got a few purples, so that's nice. So our little druid is still moving across at the bottom. So we've crossed an X now. We'll see if we keep that progress next time we get back to the campfire. Okay, we're moving down the river. This one requires two antlers, which we do have again. It didn't use one up. Okay, so now we're at this spot. I'd love to get to the next X. Okay, so this one must be the one that took away one of our antlers because uh, the icon is on the left instead of in the center so it doesn't just require that you have them it actually uses one and gives you four of the purples in in return so we have that option or we could turn in the three leaves and get three more of the purples 
I think we should do that right now. Let's go with the well. And see how far we can get. All right. See, it's a good thing because the next card required two antlers and we would have lost one if we had chose that other card. So <laughs> let's keep moving. All right, we're going to keep going. We're almost to the second little X on the bottom there. All right, so we've got the well again. Or we've got the one that requires the compass. And I don't know if that takes us to like some cards that you can't get another way. But right now, I think we're gonna go ahead and try to get more of those purples. The purples seem to be the ones that keep us moving the longest. And if we wanna get our little guy all the way across the bottom there, I think we need to keep getting as many purples as we can. Okay, so here's a choice again. Now last time, we got purples from this. There's we got three or four of them. So maybe it always gives us purples and it just is uh, dependent how many. So we'll go ahead and try that one again. We have four purples right now. It gave us purples again. It gave us three. Ooh, this one's new. Like a little moth lady or something. Oh, she's got the lantern. Okay, so we have found the lantern. <laughs> and it does have the yellow border again. So that is... Um, like, it means something new. All right, so now we've got a lantern. We can go to the lantern card. So this card requires that we have three antlers. It's our only choice. We won't be able to do it, so we will be going back to the campfire. But that's going to build up our number of purples, I think. Let's see, is it going to let us buy? No, we have to... Oh, okay. We pressed it again. Wait, I'm not really sure what happened there. But we're still moving, so let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, so now this is our choice. We can use up a purple. We'll use up a purple either way. Uh, let's try the one with the compass. All right, that's taking us here, past the tree, past the rainbow. We're walking through the forest. get one that needs leaves okay here we go we will be able to keep going if we choose this one we're our little guy is halfway across his path now so if we can keep going oh no we didn't get any purples that time all right back to the campfire but now we have eight purples starting over Hmm, I wonder what determines that. All right, we don't have enough leaves to trade for anything, so we're just gonna keep going with what we have. Starting our little druid at the beginning again. Let's see if we can get, get him across to the end. Okay, moving forward. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one at the beginning because I feel like we get a lot of leaves. So if we can build up our purples as soon as possible, I think that will be good because we're going to be getting more leaves. Okay, this one requires three antlers. So let's see what happens here. If it uses up a purple and gives us three leaves. Okay, so it changed the requirement so that we only need one antler to get by now. So now we can pass it. It just took us two tries. Okay, we're going to go with the well to get more purples. Hopefully we won't run into one that needs a whole lot of leaves. All right, we're going forward, going forward, and here, um, I think we're just going to keep going forward. I don't want to lose one of our antlers yet. Okay, we'll keep moving. Ooh, this one requires two purples. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, so now we have a choice again. And the choice, we can keep moving. We can... I still don't want to trade an antler right now. So let's do that one. So we got a couple more purples, I think. So moving forward, we're going to keep moving. 
So that one requires three antlers to go past, which means it's going to use up an extra purple if we try to use it. So let's choose this one, because we, we have enough to go past that one. Ooh, but this one's going to use us up. So it's going to take away one of our purples. Okay, so apparently what it does is when we try to do it, however many antlers you have on the left, it subtracts from the total that you need. So if that number was five at the top of the card, then we would have had to try two times before we would be able to get past it. So we can still get past it. It just takes extra tries. So if we don't have a way to get more purples on this next card, which we don't, it will be back to the campfire and back to the beginning. Okay. We're doing okay though, we're doing okay. Um, let's trade our leaves for an extra antler so that we don't have to use up those extra purples on the card that requires three. And I have a feeling there's still some cards that we haven't seen yet. All right, so we're making our way, we're making our way. I, I don't know if there's like any real difference here. It, it costs a purple and gives us a leaf either way. We have the requirements met to go through. I don't know if there's an advantage to choosing the compass over the antlers. I think it's just like what, whatever card comes next. All right, so we're gonna keep moving. Our purples are running out fast this way. And again, I haven't really determined what it is that decides um, how many cards you get in the next round. This is going to be our last purple. But, but this is the three antler card and we'll be able to get past it with one try this time. So maybe we'll be able to get some more purples on the next turn. Nope. Alright, back to the campfire and back to the beginning. <laughs> okay, we can't make any trades this time, so let's keep moving. Alright, so we don't want to lose an antler, so now we're going to choose that one. Uh, let's go with the gate this time. That's going to take us to the mushroom. And I, do, I, I don't think these go in any certain order. Like, if you choose the gate, I don't think you always get the mushroom after. I think it's just one of those things where you're just moving forward. I really don't want to lose that extra antler. Hmm. Maybe we will, though. It's gonna give us four extra purples. Let's just try it this time. Okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, here is another choice. So let's choose the well because it costs leaves and we have plenty of those. And we'll get a few more purples so we can keep moving. Keep moving. Let's see, so now we're down an antler, so this card is going to cost us two purples to get past it. All right, there we go. Um, let's see, so maybe, yeah, let's choose the one that costs leaves, then maybe we can get some extra purples? Nope, it didn't give us anything. Oh, it gave us an antler, I think. We're back up to three antlers. Okay, keep moving. Ooh, this one costs two. Ouch. I don't think we've made it. <laughs> I don't think we've made it more than halfway across. Okay. Well, I'm either not very good at this or I'm missing something. And it maybe, uh, maybe it's both of those things. All right. We're going to trade some leaves for a purple. Maybe it's just a matter of getting things built up first. Okay. So our very first card is the three antler card. We're getting past it. We've got lots of leaves now. All right, so let's see how far we can get our little druid across the forest this time. Um, we're gonna do the one that costs the leaves and it gave us another antler. So we have four antlers now. Um, okay, so keep moving. All right, have we run into this one since we got the lantern? I'm not sure that we have. So this might take us to something new. Ooh, yeah, little owl and the spooky branches. Okay, that's cool, very colorful. Oh, and now we're in like a little cave or something. 
Okay, and this one does require four antlers to get past it, so it's nice that we have that. So it looks like the requirements, the more things you get past, the requirements on the cards keep going up. But we do have four, so we can get past this one. Ooh, and that takes us to this. Okay, so are these two cards the same? This one costs one purple, one purple, one purple. So those two seem to be the same. Um, I kind of want to choose the dark one. I love the colors in these pictures. They are so pretty. Oh, we've got a little owl flying outside. Okay, so this one I think is going to take away our little owl. Uh, to use it because that icon is in the top left corner, but it's our only choice So we've got to keep moving. It is going to give us a purple in return So that might get us a little farther now. This one doesn't have any icons So maybe it's not costing us anything Oh, it gave us some leaves though. Okay. Wait a minute. So is it hiding the icons from us now? What's happening here? <laughs> Okay, well, we're still moving. So is it not costing us anything now? I, I think the well was one that gave us extra purples. I'm gonna choose that. Are we supposed to be memorizing this stuff? Okay, it did give us extra purples. Oh boy. This just got more interesting. So our little druid is about halfway across now. We've reached the third X. Oh my goodness, I would love to keep going at this point. Okay, have we seen this one on the right before? It doesn't look familiar, but maybe it does. Maybe it's just toward the beginning. Okay, but I know that this one will give us some more purples, so let's choose that. Okay, and we're going to choose it again. Okay, so this is really interesting that this kind of took away took away our eyes about halfway through. <laughs> we don't know what we're getting anymore. Oh no, we're using up our purples fast. All right, I'm gonna choose that well every time we see it because I know that it gives us more purples and I know that Jester one uses up too. Ugh. We're kind of going in circles now, aren't we? All right, let's go through this cave again. And we're to this spot again. That's gonna use our last purple. Oh, you guys, look how close our little druid is to the end. I bet this is gonna send us back to the campfire. Yep. Oh no, we have to start all over. Okay, let's trade for an extra purple. <laughs> okay, here we go. So apparently, when the dru little druid at the bottom gets to that third X, around that third X, uh, it takes away the little icons on the cards. So you don't know what you need to get somewhere anymore. Okay, I think we were gonna test and see if this gate took us to the same place every time. It took us to the mushroom. I think it took us to the mushroom last time. Okay, we're gonna go with the lantern. So this owl one costs one purple. Oh boy, are we supposed to be able to memorize this? Oh no, we're down to three antlers again. Okay, if we see that little um, statue, we definitely need to click that one again. All right, we're going through the cave. It's gonna take two tries. And this is going to be our last turn. We, this is only one way to go. And back to the campfire. Okay. Let's trade for another purple again. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're going to get this guy to the end. Okay. We're definitely... Oh, he costs six, uh, six leaves now. But we're going to take that one. And he's going to give us some more purples. Great. The Jester goes into the Mushroom Forest, but I, I don't know that it does every time. Okay, we're going to test this now. Ooh, although I really want to pick this guy. But I also kind of want to test if that takes us to the Mushroom again. Alright, we need the purples though. We're going to... Oh, it gave us an antler instead. Okay. 
this might be a little bit of a memorization game too. All right, have we gone past this guy? It's gonna cost us an antler, but let's go check it out. Took us to the rainbow. I think we might have gone past him already. All right, we're gonna choose the well. Get some more purple. We got past that one in one. Okay, let's see if this takes us to the mushroom again. No, okay, so it is it is random what it goes to then. Okay, we're going with the well to get more purples. Our little dude's about halfway across, so we're gonna we're gonna lose our icons here in a minute. So let's <laughs> let's remember as many as we can. Let's go the dark way. That's gonna take us two tries. Okay, we still have our icons at the moment. Um, through the little owl forest. Okay. And I don't think we've seen what's past this one yet. We went through the dark one before. We, we picked this one before, but okay, so it'll just take us back to another regular card. We only have one purple left. Oh, I hope we get a choice here. Okay, this one doesn't use a purple, but I don't think it's going to take us to anything that gives us a purple. So that's going to take us back to the campsite. So we are getting a little farther every time now, and we're definitely going to trade. You know what, let's just try, oh, do we want another antler or another purple? If we get the antler, then we take away the chance of having to use two purple to get past that one card. But if we take the purple, we'll have an extra purple to use when we get past it. It kind of evens out. We're just going to do this. We got that extra antler. All right. Now we have just enough leaves to trade the well. Okay, let's see how far we can get this time. <laughs> wow, we're getting a lot of those antler cards. Okay. Let's see, which one do we want to choose? It, I don't think it really matters. All of them cost one purple. All right, keep moving little buddy. Keep moving. We're going to take that one because it doesn't cost. Okay, we can get past this one in one card this time. We're going to need something pretty soon to give us some more purples or we're going to be back to the... Uh... Let's do the rainbow. Okay, see, I'm, I haven't really figured out what it is. many cards you get on the next turn. All right, we're going to turn that in again. The more purples we get, the better. All right, let's keep going. Um, we don't have enough leaves to turn in, so we'll choose this one. Keep it moving. Okay. Uh, we're going to take this one. That leads us through. Forest. Okay. And we're here, which we're going to choose this one to get something extra. And it gave us some extra purples, so that's good. We can get us a little bit further. Man, you go through those purples quick if you don't get some more. Um, I think we better choose the well and get a few more purples. They're going quick. Um, okay, we're, we're going to choose the cat. We're going to lose an antler, but it will get us four more of the purple. So that we can keep moving. Our little druid has just passed the halfway mark again. So we're going to choose this way. Oh, darn it. Okay, I got to learn to recognize the tops of these cards. I would have known that that was the jester and it was costing us two purples to get past it. All right, we can trade another antler. Uh, it's going to keep us going a little bit longer, maybe. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. All right, so now we have two choices. We're definitely trading in some leaves. 
And it's gonna take us straight to the one that takes away two that we just got, okay. Um, keep moving, keep moving. Come on, little guy. We gotta keep moving. Let's get a few more purples. All right, we can keep moving. He's getting so close to the end. We need something that's going to give us... Okay, so we have a choice here. If we trade in an antler, we're guaranteed four more purples. And we're really close to the end now. If we trade in the leaves, it may not give us purple. It may give us antlers or something. So I think we're going to choose the one that guarantees us the purples. Maybe we can keep going long enough to get us to the end this time. Oh, we're so close. The closest we've ever been. We're definitely using this one. <laughs> Keep moving, keep moving, little guy. Oh, I wonder why the icons disappeared off before. They haven't gone away this time. Okay, so looking behind us at the next cards, we don't want to choose the gesture because that's going to take away two of our purples. And this close to the end, we need as many of those as we have. Um, both of these cards, oh, you know what? any of these cards are going to use up two purples because both of these require two antlers and we only have one now so we would have to click it twice to get past it yikes all right which one do we pick so the one behind the middle card has the same top as this gesture so we definitely don't want to pick that one because we don't want to have to pay two twice in a row so we either need the leftmost card or the rightmost card I'm gonna choose the left one. All right, that's gonna cost us the two. That's gonna cost one. I don't know how many more turns we need. We have two more. Is this gonna get us to the end? Oh no, that was an antler card. Oh no, you guys. <laughs> I hope this gets us to the end. No, we need one more step. Okay, but we can choose this guy, yay. Okay, it gave us some more purples. Yay. All right. Okay, so here we are. I think this is the end. There's no more cards behind it. It's a new card. The Druid with... Um, that reminds me of the Satori from Legend of Zelda, to be honest. The one on the right. And then there's some kind of bunny. So we're choosing... Oh, we've gone into a new space here. But we got our little guy to the end of the path. So we're... We're sleeping now? We're sleeping? Is this winter? We got some music. Ooh. Okay, so now we're making music. I think this is just... The winter settling in, maybe? Oh, what are we building here? Like a little stained glass thing or something. Okay, this uh, card looks unfinished, kind of. Okay, so we're trying to... Oh, okay. So we have to choose the correct third note. And I was... I think it was purple... I like those little bats though. So did we match it? Okay, so we're gonna have to pay attention here. All right, we filled in another piece of the stained glass. Okay, so here's our music. We gotta pay attention. We got a blue, a light blue, a dark blue, and a purple. I wonder if it ever does more than um, three notes at a time. Okay, we've got another little piece there. Okay, here's the next one. Light blue, orange, blue, purple. Okay, so we are getting more notes. So we need light blue, blue, Uh-oh. Wasn't the next one orange? What if we choose the same note again? 
Oh, we couldn't choose the right one. Nope, it doesn't match. Is it going to take away a piece? Oh, it's supposed to be purple at the end. Wow, I did really bad on that one. Okay, so it didn't take away a piece. It just didn't give us one. Okay, so light blue, orange, blue, purple. So light blue, orange, blue, and purple. So maybe it did have the right choices there. I was just remembering it wrong. Okay, so we're, we're slowly putting the forest to sleep here, I think. <laughs> All right, let's pay attention. Orange, purple, yellow. Orange, light, blue. Orange, purple, yellow. Orange, light, blue. Orange, purple. So we should have a new card. Yellow. Then we need another orange. And light, blue. Okay, we're slowly getting it filled in here. All right, let's try the next one. Purple, yellow, blue, orange, light blue. Okay, purple, yellow, blue. It's nice that sometimes it only gives you the right choice. Orange and then light blue. really testing our memory here. Our power to pay attention. All right, here's the next one. Light blue, yellow, pink. Yellow, orange, light blue. Oh boy. Light blue, yellow, pink. Okay, what was next? I think it was yellow again. And then orange, and then light blue. <laughs> I hope we got that right. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. Yay, okay. Another little piece. All right, we've just got one more to figure out. Yellow, pink, yellow. Light blue, blue, purple green all right so yellow pink yellow Ooh, i think it was then light blue blue and then and then green right yeah i think Oh, was there another one in between? Oh, there was another one in between. It was supposed to be an orange one. Oh no, we got it wrong. Okay, I have to keep. <laughs> I have to try again. Oh no, it's right. Oh no, no, no. Okay, it was just playing what we had. No, I think that that one was supposed to be orange. Okay, let's try it again. Is it gonna give us the same notes? Yellow, pink, yellow, light blue, blue, purple, green. Oh boy. <laughs> yellow, pink, yellow, light blue, blue, purple, and then green, right? I think that was it. We got it. All right, that's the last piece. Is this the last little bit? Have we have we finished preparing the forest 
That is so pretty, you guys. Look at those colors. I just love it. It reminds me a little bit of Monet, some of Monet's paintings. Just the colors of it. All right, so he's looking over the forest. I think we've reached the end there. So guys, this was a fun little game. It was fun to, to figure out what we were doing. The pictures are just beautiful. And it, it's kind of a little puzzle game that you just have to figure out yourself. You don't get any instructions. You just work it out. <laughs> So um, that was fun, but that was, you know, for, for $3 for an hour's entertainment, I think that's pretty good. Um, it's beautiful to look at, and you could definitely play it again, you know, just to try to beat your former score of how many cards it takes you to get the, the druid through the forest, or, um, you know, whatever. It's just re relaxing to listen to, relaxing to look at. I think it's a lovely little game. So thank you so much for joining me, for checking this out today. Uh, it would be lovely if you chose to subscribe to see what we get into next. Have a beautiful day, everyone.